hello and thanks for joining me today i'm going to do an unboxing but before i get into that i want to remind you that phil is going to add a little secret something that's going to pop up along in the video and if you see it you need to timestamp it in the comments down below and the first person that does that will get a shout out from me and um it's just a little fun thing that we like to do here uh, so I am unboxing a new pen that I got and I I think this might be my first order from Gold Spot Pens. Uh, I'm not it was either my first or my second, but I think it's my first. And I saw this pen and I've been wanting one of these pens and when I saw this particular one, I went ahead and pulled the trigger. So inside the box, we have, it looks like a catalog and um, definitely drool worthy, very beautiful pictures and I really like what they did there. They include a little thank you for supporting our small business and uh, the gold foil is a nice touch. I really like that. So a catalog of fountain pens, I couldn't be happier to be honest. I. Yes, definitely. I will sit over this many evenings and uh, see what my next acquisition will be. So let's get to the pen that I ordered. Uh, so they do a very nice job wrapping it in bubble wrap. No damage going to occur to this thing. And I, my knife looks sharp, but it's not as very dull. So we have the Memento Zero collection, made in Italy. The box has a very nice pearl finish to it, and a nice italic font here. They have more than 45 years of uh, business or experience in the business, and it's 100% Italian. So I saw this red dot on the other end. I'll show it to you again. I have no idea what that means, but um, maybe one of you do. I don't know little red dot. I hope it doesn't mean the pen is red because I did not order a red pen. But a uh, very nice black box with uh, black on black lettering there. And then we reveal another black box that is kind of coffin shaped. And inside we have the, an insert. And I'm going to hide the pen a little bit from you because I don't want to reveal it just yet. So let's take a look at this insert, and it is the pearl, the pearly paper, and it looks like they're going to tell us all about the pen. And I'm glad they also include English because I would struggle deeply with Italian. It's a beautiful language. I love it, and I would love to know how to speak it, but I do not, and I would butcher every single word. So. Thank you, Leonardo, for putting that in English as well. I appreciate that. So, very nice, very well done. I like the insert. And now let's take a look at the pen. That is beautiful. So the, the case is very soft and tactile. I like that. And then the pen is wrapped in some plastic that... Oh, where do I put it? Okay. Uh... Not crazy about the plastic, but that's okay. Sometimes we have no choice but to use plastic, and uh, hopefully it is a biodegradable kind, but I don't see anything on there that said anything one way or the other. But look at that. This pen is so shiny, and uh, the chatoyancy, chatoyancy of the pen is just lovely and beautiful. Uh, it is the Blue Hawaii, and it is number 2189. So they number their pens, and that's the number I got. So let's, it takes like one and a quarter turns to get it off. The nib is very simple. Leonardo, Italy, and there's an M on the side. M for medium. I love medium nibs. I used to only do narrow, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I used to only do fine or extra fine, but now I'm into ink just as much as I am the pen, and 
the broader line really shows the ink off better and I just I love it I love seeing the ink hit the paper and then it's almost like watercolor because it transforms into what it's permanently going to be and I think it's just absolutely beautiful and yes this pen I just I love I don't know how they did it but I love what they've done with it it's beautiful and we have their little wing logo there and the clip is a wheel which I think is pretty cool and it just kind of glides over the paper just like that very nice like you can always tell a, a Leonardo pen because of their clip I think it's been copied but it'll never be duplicated and then uh, the back screws off it does have um, metal threads and then I was twisting this but I don't think that's the way we actually do it I think we unscrew which I need to get back on camera here we go um, yeah there we go it's a piston filler inside and yeah pretty pretty easy and it has metal threads there as well and you just twist it quite a bit to get it completely shut but I want to put this back together and yes absolutely beautiful put that in a safe spot and I think I'm going to try and find some ink but first let's compare it it's almost the same size as the Lamy Safari and that's the uh, pilot vanishing point so I'm trying to find an ink that will complement the pen I usually if I have a blue pen then I try to use blue ink and I'm trying to find one that matches the darker tones in the pen and any of these would work any of them but I end up getting um, an Ackerman ink because I haven't really used it very much and I just got it and I love the bottle so I think that's the one I'm gonna go with but I'm gonna just hold the pen up next to all of these swatches and see if maybe there's one I like better but I know for sure I like the Ackerman uh, another option would be um, the Sailor uh, Manyo ink in Haha ha, which is right there that is a very beautiful uh, multi shading ink it has like pinks and light blues that might be a good one as well and the rest are going to be black so I have a lot of blue pens so that means I have a lot of blue ink but yeah this is definitely the one I'm going to go with I cannot pronounce those words but it is blue I will ask um, my friend Daniel to teach me how to say those words he speaks German and I believe he will be able to help me and then I will not fumble and murder such beautiful language I love languages I think they're absolutely beautiful and I love learning them right now I'm learning Hebrew and um, beautiful language I, I I'm enjoying learning it so much uh, but yeah I don't like to say stuff incorrectly and I say things in English incorrectly all the time so I have a lot of learning to do but uh, they put their logo on their piston filler there and I'm going to just dip it in the ink and fill it up and I like to be able to see where the ink level is so I'm glad that I can take this pen apart so much and let's get that wiped off and I believe that I would manage to fill this pen without getting ink all over my fingers which every once in a while the stars align and I'm able to do that so that is great because I always have ink on my fingers and under my nails <laughs> always all right put it back together and I want to write with it so let's see now let's not put that on there so let's see I have an insert in my traveler's notebook that has like 20 different kinds of paper in it and I went to one um, I think it's called banker's paper I think that's what that paper is called but I'm going to use this paper because it's one of my favorites and just do a little writing sample nothing major I do I'm not a calligrapher so um, 
that my handwriting is even legible is a miracle. But I enjoy writing. I do it for myself and no one else. But I feel like you need to see how the pen writes so that if you decide you want the pen, you have some sort of an idea. But uh, the nib is fairly smooth. I'm not going to say it's the smoothest nib that I've ever used. I believe it is a steel nib. Um, and it is very smooth. It is, uh, there's very, very little feedback. I have no complaints about the nib, actually. So, you know, it's, it's smooth. It's not the smoothest, but it is still very, very smooth. It's very pleasurable to write with. And I think you get a nice thick line. It's for a medium. I think it's just right where it's supposed to be. And uh, the ink is the Ackerman uh, blue ink. And what I really love about this ink is that it goes on uh, kind of light. And as it darken, as it dries, it gets darker and gets almost navy blue color. So I really like that. It's, it's kind of fun. And you know when your ink is dry because the color of it uh, is navy blue instead of this kind of light, almost cobalt color that it goes on as. So, yeah, I don't know how to say these words that I'm writing, but I believe Daniel will teach me. And I'm pretty sure that word is blue. So, yeah, the pen, the pen has a decent flow. It's not extremely wet. Uh, it's not dry either. I did use it for about an hour on Sunday. And every once in a while, it would give me a dry start. But you just kind of like tap the heel of your hand against the surface without hitting the nib on the surface and it will begin writing again um, so it wasn't really a big deal but every once in a while it would just give me a, a dry start and that's what I would do and just kick start it again so this is the Leonardo Memento Zero and the color is Hawaii blue or blue Hawaii and it is the 2021 edition I believe yeah blue Hawaii does anybody else have the problem of when they're writing something down sometimes the spelling of the word just completely escapes your mind because you're concentrating on each letter so so closely Oh, just me? Okay, well, that's what happens to me. <laughs> but yeah, so there we have it. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I hope you like the pen as much as I do. If you do, you should go get you one.